Our Roomba doesn't have that technology. Hi there, it's Farmer Brad, and I have to confess, I'm kind of a tech geek. When it comes to Internet of Things, things to optimize the homestead, or around the house. The problem is, Wise, who makes Wise cameras, uh, Wise uh, smartwatch, just a whole bunch of different devices, they price their products so affordable it's hard to say no. Now this next item I pre-ordered, partly because I think I purchased it for like $199, and at that price, you really can't get a uh, competition. Um, let me bring it out and I will be unboxing it. This is the Wise Vacuum. And what really has me excited about it is this vacuum has a LiDAR. LiDAR pretty much sends out a beam of a laser in order to map out the area. So what this allows you to do is if your entire house is not quite ready to be vacuumed, you can just circle a little area and have it vacuum that little area uh, once it's mapped out the house. Um, so that feature I'm really excited for. Uh, let's get into the box and see what's included. So they call this the Wise Robot Vacuum. It's not just your ordinary vacuum. That has a nice little handle here. Nice printing on both sides and it says that it weighs 9 pounds gross weight is 12.3 pounds here's the instructions so this round part up here is where the lidar uh, is sent out. Okay, then I'm assuming this box has the charger stuff. Okay, here is Wise Vacuum, the charger, charging hub. Let's see what this is. Oh, that's nice. Little filter. Let me just get this plastic off. So we do have a Roomba, um, but it's seen better days. And I like this because this just kind of bumps up to it in order to connect to the terminals. The issue that we had with the Roomba was it kind of had to go up to a ramp and then on the bottom was the charging connection ports and sometimes they'd get dirt and stuff on them. Um, I think that's very smart to put this on the side. Um, let's see, so these little foam things in here are just to help it not move in shipping. And what I like is they included, uh, let's see, yeah, they included a spare um, sweeper thing, so I'll just place that there, and yeah, so they sent a spare. Our Roomba did not come with a spare, and I've thought about 3D printing a replacement. Um, yeah, so right here, is where the connection points to the charger are. So it just it just uh, bumps up against that and 
starts charging it, which is really nice. Um, and let me see on the bottom. That's it just feels built very well. So on the bottom, here are the two wheels, and it looks like it has the ability to adjust levels really nicely, like going from carpet to uh, wood floor or tile. And then this is really easy to take off and clean that. And then let's look on here. So, oh, that's that's interesting. In here is the dustbin. So you take this out, and that's where the dirt goes. On the Roomba, it's on the back, and it kind of feels clumsy. This also has a HEPA filter, which they sent a replacement, which I really like that feature. And, <laughs> this, is, this is cute, let's see. They have a little cleaning device. Very firm brush here. And then, oh, this, this, is, this is genius. They have like a little, almost like a uh, mail opener with like a little blade. And I'm assuming that that is for um, cutting uh, hair or strings that got caught on the brush. That is really smart. And it's kept right there on the vacuum. Okay, I'm gonna read in, and then you just put this little flap down. I'm gonna read in the instructions to see how long it needs to charge before its first use. On the charger, you open up the bottom and it allows you to plug it in and then remove any of the access cord, which is really nice. So there's a little hole there, that's where the um, power adapter goes and then you can wrap it around there. So it's only as long as it needs to be. Then it can come out this side or that side. And you place that back in there. And then you set that up against the wall and the Roomba comes over and connects to that. Okay, I'm going to try to configure it in the WISE app. Turning on. Whoa. Oh, I guess there's two buttons there, home and power. Wi-Fi connection has been reset, awaiting network connection. That's pretty cool. So I'm adding the device. So now I need to connect to the vacuum. Okay, now it's connecting. This could take a minute. Okay, it says that it's expected charging time for the first use is two hours. So once I connect the Wi-Fi, I'm going to shut it off and put it on the charger. 
Okay, now it says to name the device. What do we got here? Mega Desk. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, this is not Mega Desk. No, it's not. They call it Quad Desk. That's ridiculous. This is made up of three desks. Oh my God. Okay, so it says make sure that there's no obstacles within 40 inches in front and 20 inches on both sides of where you place the charger. Okay, so now I'm going to update the firmware. And we should be in business. Hopefully it doesn't try to drive off this table and update succeeded. Cool. Thanks for the feedback, wise robot vacuum. Cool. So it's at 50% charging, or 60% now. And let's go through some of the settings. You can create uh, suction level standard. Strong, the stronger the suction, the cleaner the floor, but it will be louder. Let's go strong. Uh, clean records, accessories. Oh, that is, that is really cool. So it tells you about how many hours each of the accessories are supposed to last. 150 hours for the HEPA filter. The edge brush is 200 hours, and then the main brush is 300 hours. Uh, that is that is really, really cool. And then you can uh, reset your map. Uh, let me... So right now, nothing is mapped out. Um, and I would assume that you would probably confuse it if you put it on multiple levels, um, but we'll end up having to see what it. Uh, oh, Starting wait. cleaning. Uh, oh. Cleaning paused. Whoa. Just in that short amount of time, it updated the map. That is... So actually, it knows not to go off the table. Oh, do I trust it? Do I trust it? Okay, so I am stopping it, and Please it will check return. Please my wheels are touching the ground, and try again. Oh, okay, I'm going to place it over here, and tell it to charge. Returning to charge. So it's getting this signal, and communicating with it, where to go. That, that is awesome. that's a lot of fun so thanks for watching this unboxing and getting started as I have some more time to uh, use this uh, then I'll do a more complete review um, after I've had some time to um, to use it some more and get more familiarized with it but uh, so far I'm very impressed with the build quality and I'll put a link in the description where you can get your 
wise robot vacuum. I purchased this with our own money. So thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel if you aren't yet. Our channel is gradually growing, but thanks for your support and leave your thoughts in the comments of what you think about this vacuum and whether or not you've been debating whether or not to get one. At $199 with the pre-order price that I paid, uh, that's, that's pretty low. Um, I think the Roomba that we bought was $250 and then they even have some that are like $780 that empty themselves. Um, are we that lazy people? Are we that lazy to pay $780 for a robot vacuum? This is a really low price. Um, now, after the pre-order sales, I'm sure they're going to jack it up a little bit, but with Wise, they don't uh, really increase the price that much. But the LiDAR feature, I am really excited to get used to. Um, yeah, I mean... Our Roomba doesn't have that technology whatsoever. And then the feedback, um, actually one of my daughters uh, changed our Roomba to speak uh, another language. And we're not quite sure how she did it and we're not sure how to get it back into English. Uh, so at least with this, this is a very sleek design. There's only two buttons on here, home and power button. So if, the vacuum's over here, and I want it to go home. I just press that, Returning to charge. and it will find the charger. But on the app, it already kind of knows where the charger is when it goes away from it, which is cool. Starting to charge.